Hey, this is Pamela Riemenschneider. I'm here with Dave Corsi from Wegmans at the close of the Center for Produce Safety's Research Symposium here in Austin, Texas. Now, Dave, you were the chairman this year. Right. Um, there's a lot of attendance here. What, can you tell me a little bit about the attendance and sure. the efforts that CPS went to this year to bring more people from the produce industry to this conference? Sure, so one of, one of our priorities that we talked about at our board meeting last year was the opportunity to have more outreach to educate the industry more about who CPS is and then what do they do? Uh, what do they represent? And I, I love our mission. It's uh, funding science, finding solutions, and fueling the change. And in order to fuel the change, we need to have education on what, what CPS is again. So what we did is we put together a task force. We call it the Knowledge Transfer Task Force. And and the reason why we put that together was we wanted this group solely focused on those outreach opportunities. So we had Doug Grant from the Oppenheimer Group chair that committee or that task force. And we specifically stated what are the, what are the actions that we're going to take to, uh, to create more education industry about CPS. So Doug has published now up to this point seven different articles specific to what has been learned from funded research through CPS of specific projects that now have been applicable to industry and best practices for food safety. And what I love about the articles is that he's, he's basically solicited and uh, interviewed companies that are using the research in their everyday business. So that was one effort and seemed to be gaining some traction by having up to seven and we hope to publish another seven more in the well, next And you know, meeting. actually we at Blue Book for the Purchase Reporter have started working with Doug um, to Excellent. do some videos Excellent. where he's been um, walking us through this process in the Knowledge Transfer Task Force um, with us as well. So, yeah. Well, thank you. Thank you, Blue Book. <laughs> You're helping our effort. And then second, I always thought it was good to have a face-to-face -face interaction with industry. So I've attended a few of the venues that uh, the industry offers, certainly Fresh Summit. Uh, SEPC was an opportunity and Viva Fresh. Uh, I, I wish I could attend it, but, uh, but I think it's important to have a name to the face of CPS. And since I'm the chair, I think it's important that we do have a face-to-face -face engagement, engagement with those who are in the industry. So they learn about, again, the importance of having funded research and thinking about that research which could possibly be the next best practice in food safety in your food safety plans and your operations. So I love the opportunity to be out front and have a live engagement with uh, other parts of the industry through these venues. And even just the, the attendance here, you, you mentioned in your opening remarks that um, it has been a record setter for you guys. And so uh, the fruits of that, that outreach, I guess we're seeing here today and, yeah. and so much conversation on what people are going to take away from this uh, conference. What, what do you going to take away from this year as chairman of CPS and uh, from this research symposium? Well, just to go back to the audience and the size, and we are celebrating the fact we have over about, about 370 that attended, and that's up significantly from the year before. But we're hoping, again, those efforts of outreach are, are helping increase that population. But the fact is that we have thousands of pack of licenses that are operators in the produce industry We'd love to get that number up of attendance even higher. So we've got to continue to prove to the industry the value of CPS. So as a buyer, sure. um, what are you taking away from here? Sure. So as you can imagine, what we just learned was rich scientific information that now we need to somewhat decipher and say, what, what can we do with the research that we just heard the last two days? And how can we apply it? And maybe we can't apply it on the buy side, but we certainly can apply it, apply it in other segments of our supply chain. And then how do we engage our growers, our processors, other aspects again throughout the supply chain of applying what we just learned back to them. And, uh, and of course, we have our own small grower network in the East Coast that we operate in. And sometimes these smaller growers don't have the, um, the resources to, uh, to understand the latest science that is out there. So we bring some of the learning from this symposium 
even to them on a yearly basis. So in each state we have a forum where we bring our small growers in and educate them on the latest science that again we may have learned from, uh, from the symposium the last couple of days. So I guess what's next is outreach for next year. All right, thanks Dave. And Thank uh, again, this has been Pamela Riemann Schneider for Blue Book Services from the Center for Produce Safety's Research Symposium in Austin. Thank you. Thanks for the opportunity to speak with everyone today.